2022. We sure appreciate you hanging in there with us and, and waiting until we got back on. You know, we've had some we've had some issues. We've had our editor in chief traveling all over the country and I've been working that Carly pup. We had uh, we had a deer season in between our bear season and now, which is the beginning of our cat season. We did have a good week this past week. Uh, a couple of things. One, uh, you know, as, as some of you that have known me, and over the time we start them all, we start all our puppies on rabbits, and then we make the conversion when possible to bobcats. And that's that was uh, Carly's age. Carly, that little cross between Ranger and uh, Maggie, a, a pup that was uh, raised uh, and trained by Paul Thomas and bred by Tim Barry. Uh, we, we all... Uh, we all have that. We all have those favorites. You know, we we crossed the the best of the Coles dog to the to the Tim Berry bred dog, and we got uh, we got seven puppies. You've seen them in the past. You've seen them on some of the videos, I think, and now and and the Hound page. But now and now it was time to get serious with the pup. So uh, we had to make that conversion, make that switch from the rabbits to cats, and we did. And sometimes that creates that creates a problem early on because. The pup's still thinking rabbits, and now we're after cats. But uh, the way that I did it this year, and, and, and I'll share with you, is I started Carly on every cat. Every cat track that we found under poor conditions, whether it was a fresh track or an older track, we always put her down first. Um, we didn't have an awful lot of runs because of the lack of snow, but those that we had, we'd always start with Carly. And what would happen is if she, she, would, ta if she would take it, Good. As far as she would take it, and when she got into trouble, or she'd have a loss, or she'd come back, then we'd throw one of the other dogs, Ranger, Piper, Sally, Ringo, somebody in there behind her, and help this thing move along, and and move that move that cat track. Um, another thing that happens is, Carly had never really been exposed to deer, so we had to do some uh, cor corrections because what would happen is if she got on a cat track, and then that cat got into some deer, she really didn't know what to do at that point except to come back because she didn't like the smell of the deer anymore because of previous corrections. So we got by all of that and each time we'd put her on a track, she would progress further and further on the track until finally she kept them, she kept on them herself. So Thursday we put her on a number of smaller cats, older tracks, and we'd let Ranger back her up. And then we left Ranger on the track by himself. And ultimately what happened is Ranger went on to tree the, to tree the cat himself. And uh, we picked him up and the cat later that, later that afternoon. We, Carly, on, Carly was on the tree. And we had uh, Ringo, uh, Ringo, Carly, and, and uh, Ranger on, on, the, on the cat. You'll see a little bit of that in the upcoming, uh, in the upcoming clips that Samantha is going to share with you. Get him, Carly. Get him, Carly. Where is he, Carly? Go get him, Carly. Oh, good girl, good girl. Good him, good girl. Good girl, Carly. Good girl. Get him. Get him, Carly. Good boy, Ringo. <laughs> Good girl, Carly. Ah, Ranger. Good. Ranger. 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 No, get Ranger. Get Ranger. Grab him. Go by him. Oh, he's trying to get Ranger. Go by him. Oh, oh, no. Grab Ranger. Pull him back. Lay back. Lay back. Good girl, Carly. Good girl. Oh, get him, Carly. Good girl, Carly. Get him right out of the way. Good girl, Carly. Good girl. What a good girl you are. Good girl. He he good. good. Good boy. Uh, so there's a couple of steps there that uh, I think I should review. One, I like to start them all by themselves on a cat track. That way you don't end up with a me too dog. A dog that uh, normally uh, will go with the other dogs, but doesn't really have any interest or experience in doing it on their own. Plus, if they are behind other dogs, they have that lack of scent because they have those other dog or dogs in front of them. So I like to start them all by themselves. And, and that's what we did with Carly. She's extremely fast. She's got a good nose. And now she's starting to enjoy the hunt 
and progress in a, in a, in a more professional manner. Uh, I'm not saying she's a finished dog at nine months at all, but she's on her way to becoming a, a decent cat dog, in my opinion. So that's some of the things that happened. Now, uh, on Thursday's hunt, she had a mouthful of bobcat, and uh, she enjoyed that pretty well. So Friday, what had happened, well, of course, getting back to Thursday for just a second, I want to mention this, that I did go for a swim. I went through a stream on Thursday uh, up to my waist. Ice broke. Be careful of that. Very hazardous this time of year, especially December. And I went in up to my waist, boots, boots filled with water, wool pants, the whole nine yards. So we got back to the truck, disrobed some of the some of the wet stuff, and can dump the water out of the boots and continued on with the hunt and actually went into Ranger's Tree. Then uh, that concluded Thursday. Friday, what happened is we put Carly down again on a good track, a good cat, uh, and, and the, the uh, bigger dogs were foot sore a little bit, so we let her take the cat track out, and away she went, opening right from the first bark, first track, stuck her nose in the track, and away she went and crossed two different roads. Then we packed in Sally with her, and her and Sally continued on across another road. This is a total hunt of about 14 miles. Um, and at, at that point, we got we cut him again, and we put uh, Ringo, the male pup, and uh, Piper, the other female, with Ringo, Ringo's sister, actually. Now, they crossed about uh, six different roads, six different pieces of woods, before they finally started putting the cat in a circle. And they lost the cat. We thought it was treed, so we walked in, and no tree. But then Carly opened up the pup, and she took the track out by herself. And when we got back out to the road, the cat ran down the road almost a mile. Now, normally they don't do that. But with lack of snow conditions and a smart cat and a big cat, that's exactly what happened. He went down that road a mile, and we found the track. The dogs didn't. We found the track where he left the road and put the dogs back on again. Now the, tra now the, now the uh, whole scenario changed, and the cat decided, well, roads aren't the best idea. Let me run a frozen stream. So we hit a frozen stream, ran down that stream. We got there by vehicle and cut them off, and then things just didn't sound right. And down the stream they went, and I told Rick, I said, Rick, I, said, I don't think we're going to get this cat. He's, oh, yeah, we'll get him, we'll get him. I said, I don't know. They've been on it a long time. Their feet are sore. I'm not sure whether this is going to come up with a cat or not. And at that point, the, the pace started to pick up. The dog started to open up, and the cat jackknifed on that frozen stream right back in our direction. Rick let one fly, long range, shot in the wind, nothing happened. Cat started making tight circles, about 50-yard circles, and the dogs caught him on the ice. And that's what you're going to see in the video. I think you'll like that video clip. Uh, it's a very unusual clip because it happens right out in the open. So there's no nothing in the way. And, and at one point, somebody made a comment on the hound page. They said, uh, gee, uh, I'd be embarrassed if my dogs did that or, or whatever. And what they were embarrassed about is that, that those dogs didn't charge in on a, on a 30 plus pound cat and get all tore up and possibly end their season, if not their life. So in my opinion, and for me, the dogs banging that cat was about as good as it gets because they had him stopped. He wasn't going to go anywhere, and they didn't get hurt. They, he did he did roll over a couple of the dogs, but nobody got hurt, thank God. A couple of scratches, and that happens occasionally, but nobody got seriously hurt. And then uh, you'll see that all happen in the upcoming video. <laughs> I want to thank you guys again for your patience on waiting on this, and we're going to have more content as time goes on. We're going to start to have some snow conditions. We've got a couple of clients that are going to be here soon, and with their permission, I'd like to GoPro their hunt for you. So thanks again. Enjoy your day. Have a super new year. Think snow. Thanks again. Bye-bye now.